And I mean, how's your book doing, I Bags and Dimples? My book has been the biggest surprise. I, I, you know, when I wrote the book, I think when you write a memoir, you, you, don't, you don't set out to necessarily have it be a bestseller or, or something that everybody reads. It's almost something you do for yourself at first because you, at that point in your life, you have a need to share and you feel like people could um, glean a lot from your experiences. And uh, what really surprised me about my book is, is how well it did and how so many people related to it. I mean, it was, I tackled some really hard issues in the book and um, they're very heavy. Hence, I called it eye bags and dimples. I wanted to lighten it a bit, <laughs> make it a bit fun. Um, but I get letters from people and I get calls from people all the time telling me that the book freed them, that the book healed them, um, and that they met themselves in the book. And what's interesting is that all the things that they say the book has done for them, in writing it, it did that for me. So, it's, so it was really a special thing for me. It, was, it took a lot from me to write it. I, at some, at some times I felt so exposed, I felt like I'd made a big, big mistake. But I mean, how, how hard was it just getting everything out there, especially like your personal life and everything that has happened to you, your experiences with clinical depression, all that. Yes. How difficult was it to actually put that all down? It was very difficult. Sometimes I cried through writing the book. Um, and sometimes I would stop because it just got too overwhelming. It took me four years to write the book. And at first, honestly, I approached it with this idea that, okay, I'm gonna talk about how I went through this clinical depression and how I came out of it and how now like, I'm, uh, I've overcome. But I found that, and every writer will tell you, the story almost writes itself. And I found that I just wanted to tell a different story, actually. I didn't want to give a, a 10 steps to recovery and overcoming. I actually just wanted to let people into what was really, really going on. I think that's, um, that's the theme of my, um, my persona. A lot of people always say to me, you're very real, you're very honest. And um, for me, influence and fame is actually just, it's futile if you can't use it to, um, to influence or impact your generation positively. And I think that's what I try to do in everything that I, that I embark on, yeah.